Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the vlog. As I said in the last video, you guys hear those coyotes? I just finished my car tour collection video. You guys have probably already watched that video, but I gotta go clean out the garage and I gotta move these cars back and I'm going to attempt to fit one extra car in the garage. And I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but we'll see. First, I've gotta clean the garage. All right, car number one is in. Going for two. Car number two is in, we're going for number three. Car number three is in and it is safe to say that at least six are gonna fit in here. Car number four, just gotta get two more in here, we're good. Number five is in. This is a small space for the Urus. Gonna have to work. They all fit very, very tightly, but it works. So basically these two cars will be able to get on their own. Same with the other two. These two cars might not be able to get out unless I move that one. So. That's the only slight problem here. If I could move them down a little bit more and switch these, then this one could get straight out in the middle and this one would be the only one stuck. So I might have to end up doing that. I'm just trying to figure it out. But six fits. All right, guys, yesterday I brought the car down to Downstar and Camarillo. So if you guys are located in that area, go check them out. But they upgraded all of these bolts and they did kind of like a dress up kit on it and replace all these with a dark blue that kind of matches the M emblem. And I think it looks sick. It really ties it together. And I just got carbon fiber intake system for this car. So I'm gonna be removing the stock one and replacing them. So uh, let's do that. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's gonna look a lot better. It's got these covers for it. It's gonna look sick. So uh, let's go, let's go install these. All right guys, I completely finished installing. Here are the new parts, here are the old parts. You can't really see the intakes now, um, but they are, they are in there. But the carbon fiber just looks absolutely incredible, especially with these bolts, really ties everything together. I think it looks great. Now we gotta go for a drive and make sure that it actually, uh, actually works. All right, now let's go take her for a drive. Also, we've been having a weird issue with the car. It's kind of already broken, I'll explain. Where ever since about 100 miles in, I've been getting a weird sound when it breaks, but I have carbon ceramic brakes on all my other cars, but randomly if I'm turning and braking, I will get a very, very loud, not like ceramic squeaking, but a squeak that almost feels like it's shaking the car. So I can't tell what it feels like to me is there's something lodged in the brake pad and it feels like it's coming from the front left side of the vehicle. I called the guys over at BMW and I was like, hey, this is happening and the car's brand new, obviously, so it's strange. Planning on bringing it in, what I'm waiting for is I have to bring it in for a 1200 mile a tune and a checkup to make sure that everything is fine with your vehicle. There's no recalls, that everything's good. So basically it's just like a treat it very kind until 1200 miles, don't go crazy with it. And then after 1200 miles, it basically opens the car up more. So I figured I'm driving it every day. Maybe I'll be able to get it to 1200 miles soon and then go take it in for that checkup. But the intakes are in, it sounds great. I'll, I'll have you guys here once I'm on the main road. Also, big announcement coming soon. I might be giving away one of my cars through a raffle system. And I can't say which car it is just yet because it's not locked in yet, but I'm very excited to have this opportunity. It'll be one of those raffle type giveaways where you guys can pay to enter in to win. It's going to be a really cool car and it's going to be a, at a starting low price of $10. So $10 to win a potentially $400,000 car. Really cool. You should be able to hear it here. This car is so much fun. I can't wait until it's tuned. This thing is so much fun. This is probably like the perfect daily. I love the truck, but there's nothing like a good old low to the ground, regular, a uh, good old M3 competition. I've had the F80, I've had the E36 now. Now I gotta go ahead and get a E92 at some point. There's a cop next to me. He was staring me down. He's turning around. I wasn't doing anything illegal. He was in front of me. All right, now you should be able to really hear it. You guys hear that? Hear that nice intake? Oh yeah, it sounds good. Now I gotta figure out what the hell else I'm doing to this car. All right, now let's get to the motorcycles. The Harley is 100% dead. It is not even close. And I've tried to get in here and charge it. I tried to use these. I tried to put a trickle charger on it and it's completely dead. And I think that it might need a new battery, which is unfortunate. I haven't ridden this thing in so long because of the mid control issue. And I had someone who wanted to switch them with me, but I couldn't even get the bike started. And now I'm trying to get a new battery. I ordered one so I can replace that. But I got the MT-07 working. Thank goodness. This was dead, and I did a fender delete on it, so you can kind of see the license plate is very, very hidden on it, but it is here. 
So I got that plugged in right now. I don't really need it plugged in anymore because I'm going to be driving it more. But what do you guys think about the Fender Delete? This is the old one that was on there. And it is just, it was just so ugly. I had to replace it. And I started it like six months ago. And I never finished it. So now it's done. And I have been toying around with the idea of potentially selling this car. And I know that it's very sad and I love the Urus, but I might be selling it because I want an Aventador SV, I really want a Lancia, Delta, and Integrale, and then I really want an FDR X7, and I want to do full builds on all three of those cars. And having an SUV has been great. I think the money could be better spent elsewhere when it comes to the car channel. I don't think that this car, this car is so, so incredibly amazing, but it's kind of at its peak. I've done everything to it, I love it. I don't really need a Urus, I mean, I don't really need fucking six supercars, but it's nice to have different cars for different things, and I've always wanted a V12, so this might be going out for another Lamborghini. One of these days, I don't know yet. This car is pretty much done. I can never sell any of these, and that's because the Performante, I think, will eventually go up in value so much, it would be stupid to sell. Fastback is a classic. I'm never getting rid of it. The GT3 RS is my first supercar, and I think the best GT3 RS ever made. The 991.2 will go down as the best. 720S, I think, will be worth a lot of money one day once McLaren goes completely hybrid, and the spec is just beautiful. And then the Ferrari, I just got, so... I can't, I can't sell that one just yet. I'm very lost on what I want to do right now with the cars, but drop some ideas on some other videos you guys want to see. I've been thinking about, I've been trying to collab with a couple people. I'm going to go out and go on some drives and kind of get more into the car community because I haven't been in recently. But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see any breakdowns of how much the, the house costs. If you guys want to know breakdown of unexpected costs that it comes to owning supercars, anything like that. If you want some advice to getting, making your first million dollars or something like that, comment some video ideas below and I'll see you guys in the next video.